My name is Darlene Morales, I am 17 years old, and I am a spoken word artist. My name is Michael Banner. I write poetry because to me, poetry isn't just about writing words on paper or writing lyrics or anything. It's about getting your feelings out on paper that you get like locked, like sometimes you feel like you've got stuff locked up inside, write poetry, it really helps you out. I'm Jacques Achilles, I'm 18 now, and I attend New, New, New Urban Arts basically every day. It's kind of like a second home. Hi, my name is Charlotte Abati. I'm 16 years old. I write spoken word poetry, and I am a member of the Providence Youth Team at AST 20. Not everyone can run for president, but everyone can do art. You know? Yeah. No, well, anyone can run for president, mm -hmm. but. Hey, for example, the way that I write is not similar to the way another person writes, so we have to kind of intersect and, you know, really talk and, uh, it's, I don't know, it's really hard at times, but at the end, you know, you produce something that's very, you know, you know, proud to showcase. Do you think that art can unite people? It definitely can. It can also bring people apart, but to answer your question, um, in general, it will bring, it will bring people together, but it's mostly because since art is an expression of what's on the inside, when you meet, when you see someone else's artwork, and you're able to read a part of yourself, you're just drawn to that person because that's just how humans are. We are drawn to people that are similar to us. I feel as though that I can uh, unite people. You know, there's a lot of times I do particular poems that you know have certain controversial issues or have certain issues that people have experienced, and you know, after they always come up to me and you know, like once again we like engage in conversation just because of that poem. So now, book here on my poetry. A lot of poems about my mom's, about when my mom passed away. She was a victim of breast cancer, so she died when I, like two weeks before my 16th birthday. I'm 19 now, but I still stay strong because my poetry helps me stay strong. Thank you so much. Just because we have different hairstyles, different tastes in music, doesn't mean that we don't see maybe love the same way or we don't see color the same way. If you could make art or like have your art displayed anywhere in Providence, um, where do you think you would do it? If I could have my art displayed anywhere in Providence, I think I would have to say the steps of the State House. Probably pick that corner in my closet. Not in the State House. Yeah. Or like I have the State House, just the steps of it because What's really great about, especially um, in Providence, the State House is always open to different people. Like each time you walk, there's a protest going by, or there are people coming out of it, or going into work, and there's, it's, it welcomes so many different people in Providence. So I feel like if I were to perform a poem on on the steps of the like State House, that like so many different ears will be listening. When I was a kid, I never really showed my artwork to anyone. Um, that thing 10 years ago with my art teacher, that was just because um, she had asked me if I had done any prior artwork. I said yes, and I just brought something I found at home lying around. Um, I never even bought it to preserve my artwork, actually. I would just kind of draw something and leave it around the house. It would eventually get thrown away. Um, and I kind of liked it like that, where it was just me. The best. It's weird. I, I feel as though the best place that I can write something is... Um, Kennedy Plaza <laughs> in the what, like that little park I don't know like, it's like Burnside Park I yeah. don't even know the word the name of it it's like I sit like on a little bench and I just like look around and start writing doom ba da 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 